Today we're going to be finishing up our math work on geometry. We're going to be doing lesson 15-10, so you will need this paper. And you can also do the reteaching page by yourself uh, to practice some of the things that we've done in um, geometry with shapes and solid figures. So you can have that one out also. All right, so we're gonna start off with our math movie. Read and understand. All of these are triangles. Circle the words that are true about all triangles. What do you need to find out? You need to identify the words that are true about all triangles. So when we first started looking at shapes, I had some shapes that were different sizes, different colors, and of course, different shapes. And we said that triangles were shapes that had three straight lines and three points or corners. So it doesn't matter what size they are, if they're small or medium or large, it doesn't matter what color they are. You can see on the screen, they can be all different colors. It doesn't really matter what direction they point in. If it has three straight lines and three points or corners, it can be a triangle. Plan. How can you use the clues to solve the problem? So here are some choices for us. Have three sides. Do all triangles have three sides? Are blue. Are all triangles blue? Have a flat bottom. Are all triangles flat on the bottom? Are big. Are all triangles big? Have three vertices or points. Do all triangles have three points? I will only circle the words that are true of all triangles. Solve. I see some small triangles. I see some triangles sitting on a vertex. Look back and check. Do the words work with all triangles? So they circled have three sides. All triangles do have three sides. And circled have three vertices. All triangles do have three vertices. These were not circled. All triangles are not blue. Triangles can be all different colors. All triangles do not have a flat bottom. So this is what they're talking about, that the bottom part is flat. A triangle can go this way, be pointed on the bottom and still be a triangle. So we can't circle that one. And then are big. All triangles are not big. They can be all different sizes, okay? So the only two clues that told us about all triangles are that they have three sides and they have three vertices. The triangles all have three sides. The triangles all have three vertices. I have circled the correct words. Okay, so look at your math paper here today. And we're going to look up top at the picture. There are different objects that are in shapes. There's a clock. Um, a cooler, like a lunchbox cooler, a glue stick, uh, maybe that's a plate, a can of soup, a button, um, a pyramid, and a can of peas. So we're going to look at the clues at the bottom, and we're only going to circle the words that tell us about all of the shapes. So number one says all circles. So think about anything that you know that's a circle. Are all circles white? Well, this one's white, and this one's mostly white, but is this one white? Other things that are circles, are they all white? No, so we can't circle that. Not all circles are white. We have to leave that one alone. Have zero vertices. Remember, vertices means points. So a circle has zero points. Zero points, zero points, zero points. 
yes, in order to be a circle, it has zero vertices. Circles do not have any points. So we can circle this one. Go ahead and circle the words have zero vertices. That's true about all circles. Have zero straight sides. Think about a circle. Does it have any straight lines or straight sides? No, no circles have straight sides. If not, it wouldn't be a circle. So we are circling this one also. Have zero straight sides. That is true about all circles. Are small. Are all circles small? No, they can be different sizes. So we're leaving that one alone. So all circles, we should have circled, have zero vertices and have zero straight sides. Go down to number two, all cylinders. Remember, a cylinder is this can shape. All cylinders have two flat surfaces. Yes, they are flat at the top there and at the bottom. So all cylinders have two flat surfaces. We're going to circle that one. All cylinders are small. Do they all have to be small? No, they can be different sizes. We'll leave that one alone. Have one flat surface at the top. Do cylinders always have to have a flat part at the top? No, they could be on their side like this and still be a cylinder. So we're not circling that one. Have zero vertices. That's the points. Do cylinders have any pointy parts or corners? No, they don't. So we can also circle that one. A cylinder does not have a vertice. So for all cylinders, we circled have two flat surfaces and have zero vertices. When you are ready, open up to the inside. Number one says all of these shapes are squares. Circle the words that are true of all squares. So we're looking and thinking about all squares. All squares are orange. No, they're not all orange. All squares have four sides. Yes, one, two, three, four. A square does have four sides, so we circle that one. All squares have a flat bottom. Does the bottom part always have to be flat? No. This one can have a pointed bottom and still be a square. Have sides of equal length. That means all the sides are the same size. Yes, that is something that a square has. So we are circling that one. It's already done for you. You just have to trace it. And you should also be thinking about the shapes and the describing words that we use while we do that. Number two, all of these shapes are cubes. Circle the words that are true of all cubes. So let's look. All cubes have six flat surfaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that is true. All cubes do have six flat surfaces. Go ahead and circle the first group of words there. Are purple, are all cubes purple? No. Have eight vertices. The vertices are the points or corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, circle it. All cubes have eight vertices. Are small. Are all cubes small? No. So we should have circled have six flat surfaces and have eight vertices. Down below it asks us, does the color of a shape always tell you what shape it is? So are squares always the same color? Are triangles always the same color? Are cones always the same color? No, we can't rely on colors to tell us that what shape it is. Shapes can be different colors. All right, go over to number three. All of these shapes are cones. Circle the words that are true of all cones. All cones are big. Nope, they're not all big. We can't circle it. All cones are blue. No, they're not always blue. 
all cones have one flat surface. Flat, 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 flat. Yes, that is something that all cones have. We are circling, have one flat surface. All cones have one flat surface. Have a flat surface at the bottom. Is the flat part always at the bottom on a cone? No. In this one, the pointed part is at the bottom. So we can't circle that one. Have one vertex. The vertex is the pointed part. Yes, all cones have one vertex, so we are circling that. So something that is true about all cones is that they have one flat surface and they have one vertex. Go down to number four. All of these shapes are trapezoids. So let's find out about trapezoids. All trapezoids are small. No, they're not all small. All trapezoids have four sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yes, all trapezoids do have four sides. Circle it. All trapezoids have four sides. have sides of different lengths. Yes, their lengths are not the same. Trapezoids have a longer side and a shorter side and two slanted sides. So we can circle that one at the bottom. They do have sides of different lengths. Are red, are all trapezoids red? No have four vertices or four points. Do all trapezoids have four vertices? Yes, they do. They do have four points. So all trapezoids have four sides, have sides of different lengths, and have four vertices. You should have circled those words to tell us about trapezoids. And when you are ready, turn to the back. Okay, let's look at the... Uh, solids we have here, a cube, a cone, a cube, and a rectangular prism. Number five says circle the cubes. So we're going to circle one, two, those two cubes. Now it says cross out the clue that is not true of all cubes. All cubes have more than five flat surfaces. That's true. Cubes have six, so leave that one alone. All cubes are blue. Are all cubes blue? No, they can be any color. Take your pencil and cross that out. All cubes are blue. That is not true. All of a cube's flat surfaces are the same size and same shape. Yes, the flat parts on a cube are all squares and all the squares are the same size. So we can leave that one alone. The one that was not true is all cubes are blue. Go down to number six, which is true of all rectangular prisms. Are red, are they all red? No. Are big, are they all big? No, they can be different sizes. Have a long flat surface at the top. Do they always have the longer part at the top? No, this one has the shorter square part at the top. Have six flat surfaces. Yes, a rectangular prism always has six flat surfaces. Color in letter D. Down at the bottom, it tells you to draw a square and write two things that are true about all squares. Here's a hint. You should tell me about the straight lines that a square has, and you should tell me about the points or corners that a square has. All right, and then you are going to do your practice work on your own for this page, set A, B, C, and D, just to practice things with shapes. Um, good job. Next week we will be working with shapes also, but this time we will be cutting our shapes into parts. So finish up anything for this week and then we will start new lessons next week.